Several agencies came out today for a hazmat training exercise in Jefferson City. The groups tested their response readiness in the event of an accident. ABC 17's Ethan Hines went to the training today and spoke with a City of Columbia official about the necessity of this training. Lucas, numerous agencies spanning over multiple jurisdictions was in attendance, including Columbia's Fire Department, Holt Summit's Fire Department, and Jefferson City's Fire Department. Every first responder, as well as volunteer, had one thing in mind, how to effectively work together as well as handle a possible hazmat incident. Several local first responders practiced three different hazmat emergencies. They practiced things like a propane truck accident and a corrosive material spill. This is an opportunity for the um, different jurisdictions to come together and practice coordination in the event that we were to have a real incident here. Um, so this is an opportunity for us to see how we can coordinate and work together. According to Olson, the training was planned before the toxic train derailment happened in Ohio, but that incident serves as a stark reminder of the need for practice. I think that's, uh, you know, timing right there shows you why it's important to practice these types of things. So we've seen some instances um, like the one in Ohio where there have been hazardous materials leaked and they have had to respond. So today I think we're going to take into consideration obviously what we do here, but also um, as we hear about events like that, what we can practice moving forward as well. According to Olson, the different counties offices of emergency management took several weeks to plan the event keeping their citizens safe as their main driving force behind the practice. We take public safety very seriously. Um, this is a large portion of what all of these agencies do. If there was an instance where something really did occur, we have that muscle memory. We know what we um, didn't do exactly to the best of our abilities last time so we can respond accordingly. Now, right now, I am in northern Jefferson City, and according to Olson, the neighborhood that was chosen, Cedar City, like I said before, in northern Jefferson City, was chosen due to the fact of its location. If there was a hazmat incident here, there's a potential for multiple different agencies to respond at the same time. Reporting from Jefferson City, Ethan Hines, ABC 17 News.